Hello friend, uh, thank you for watching uh, my YouTube channel, Alpha Skytech. Uh, today I'm bringing you a video of uh, how to use, uh, uh, this is a, a free uh, app actually, uh, it's called CR, uh, SCR CPY, uh, Scrappy or Scopy. <clears throat> so uh, Scrappy, Scrappy, whichever you want to uh, pronounce it, is an application uh, for uh, displaying and uh, controlling your Android devices through uh, USB connections or over TCPIP. Uh, it's a cross-platform, uh, um, as you can see, it's uh, utilized for uh, uh, Linux, Mac, so, uh, OS, and Windows, and uh, does not require uh, any root uh, access. Uh, screen copy, uh, which is scrappy, that's what I call it, uh, displays only uh, the device uh, screen, but uh, offers a great performance, uh, uh, you know, um, through uh, 30, approximately 60 uh, uh, FPS, which is that's a, <clears throat> a screen and a quality of uh, uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 or above. It's uh, um, a good low uh, latencies. Um, as you can see, 35 to approximately 7 DMS milliseconds and a, a very uh, low startup time, less than uh, a second. Uh, it offers uh, plenty of great features and uh, is not uh, intrusive with uh, nothing left installed inside of the, uh, the device. Uh, Scrappy works with Android devices with at least um, API um, 21 Android um, OS and uh, ADB uh, debugging must be uh, enabled. This is a, a good part that I'm going to show you. The, uh, uh, um, so it's, it needs to be enabled on a, on a device. Uh, so um, it features all these things, uh, folks. And I will leave the links of the, um, uh, the installations. And uh, you can see here what is the feature that has, as you can see. These are a, a lot of great feature. And uh, I did <clears throat> download um, the latest version as a zip file, and uh, I was uh, I unzipped that, and it was located uh, right here in the in the uh, in this location. And uh, this is um, this is my computer right now on the desktop. That's the file right here, and I just open it as you can see. Uh, First things first, folks, um, you have to uh, enable two things, and I will show you after we connect it where we are talking. You have to connect your um, Android devices or uh, iOS devices to the computer through a, a USB port, either USB-C or just a, a USB port, and then you connect on your um, device. And second, you have to enable the uh, developer options. And then also the second things also you have to uh, enable the debugging modes. It's very important though. So uh, <clears throat> now we'll put the instructions in there for you uh, at the end of the video. So th those are the two things and uh, needs to be enabled and the phone needs to be on. And uh, basically, after that, you got yeah, you know, as I said, after you download, uh, and then you have to uh, extract that all to the location, which I did, uh, and and it's uh, and uh, as you can see, it's here, which uh, it's on uh, um, on my desktop computer, and is located. All the files are here, and that's what you have to do at this moment, uh, folks, and. Uh, the next things here, you're going to type CMD. This is for command prompt. I suggest you run this as an administrator. And you're going to say yes to that. Let me just bring it in here. And then we're going to navigate to the location of the file. Of course, you have the um, already uh, um, went, it went to, um, to the, um, when you run it, it's run as a um, Windows uh c windows matter of fact because you're running it as an administrator we can do cd space c colon backslash and then we're going to go to the c prompt exactly and then we're going to go to uh this location basically here so we're going to do uh we're going to change directory here going to type cd space 
and then we're going to tap the location and then it's going to get you to the location of uh, of this this file right now the next command we're going to do is you're going to type the uh the file which is uh, as you can see here that's what you have to type scr okay c p y dot e x e and then you press enter here is going to communicate with the device as you can see folks how beauty it is this is my phone right now and it's turned up i'm going to turn it on there you go uh, i just dragged it and this is my phone folks right now it's connected and if i turn my phone on as you can see so the thing says I was telling you earlier that uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. Um, two things is important before even you connect this phone to your USB-C or your, you know on your computer. You have to make sure basically you have to um, two things has to be enabled here for Android phone and, and every phone has its own feature. Uh, so developer options. So you go about phones and you go about. Uh, uh, um, uh, status information or software uh, information and then build in number you're going to tap on this developer has been already turned on so now we know this developer option has already been turned on which is good and you're going to basically see the here developer options <clears throat> it turns on actually which is good and again this is different from phone to phone uh, android phone that's the feature you're going to go and do that and also the second things folks is the um, uh, you're going to search for um, uh, usb debugging actually so uh, that's what you need to be uh, you have to put it on as you can see this area you're going to search for it usb debugging if i turn it off this one everything is going to cut off <laughs> in here so this one needs to be on also when you do this kind of feature and then as you can see everything has been displayed here this is a good things that you can use if you want to display your phone and record things and copy files as you can see uh, this this feature has a lot of things uh, it capture and conf uh, capture configuration mirror android uh, devices with the uh, reduced size bit rates uh, frame rates and uh, um, uh, crop screen uh, screen recording also connections is a wireless also you can utilize uh, multi-device or uh, through uh, ssh internal uh, <clears throat> a windows configuration so it has a, a lot of things and i'm gonna go ahead and and uh, folks put the um put this uh, in here and uh, simply as you can see uh you know um when you're um it's turned off here if you turn on your phone it's going to come up right away as you can see how beautiful it is and um you know um you can you can do your work here as you wish and basically when you're done you just exit x in here and uh, the the dot screen it will be uh, uh, also um, you can close it and you disconnect after you're done from your work um, folks i think this is a great feature and it's going to be a great help for you um, you know down the road and it's going to help you with your work and um, that's all what i have uh, the, this program i'm going to put the links of the way you navigate in there and uh, hopefully this was a good uh, uh, video as always i appreciate your um, folks your uh, your like and uh, uh, your subscribe and uh, have a great day thank you